Hey guys, what's going on? It's October EMP. Today I'm going to be showing you my new Canon EOS Rebel T3i camera. Very cool DSLR I just recently got for an early Christmas present. So I'm just going to show that off a little bit. And uh, before I do all that, I just wanted to thank everybody for liking, subscribing, watching, going to my channel, doing everything you can to help move my channel along and support it. I've recently made partner and I'm very excited, very happy, and I'm very appreciative towards anybody who's you know, looked at any of my videos or subscribed, especially if you're a subscriber. I, you, I owe you guys a lot. So in early January, I'm going to have a, a pretty big giveaway, so make sure you stay tuned. And if you're a new subscriber, just keep on looking for my videos. Look for one title giveaway, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to give you guys something really cool. That's a surprise, so you're not going to know what it is until the video comes along, but it will be good, so make sure to stay along and subscribe. So on to my camera. Before I you know, go on to doing this, I am not a professional photographer. Wish I was, but I'm not. I don't know what the settings are, I don't know what much stuff is called unless it's labeled. I'm, you know, a, I'm very much so a noob at, you know, photography, etc, etc, so let me just, you know, get off by saying that. So this is the, like I said before, the Canon EOS Rebel T3i. It's an 18 megapixel 1080p DSLR. It does great video, great pictures. It has the 55mm kit lens on there. If, you, if I turn it around like this, you can see right here that it has a swivel screen that comes out and twists around, which is very cool, a very nice addition, especially since I'm going to be doing video with this a lot. Another great part about this DSLR um, that is separate from um, most DSLRs in this price range is it has manual audio settings, which makes it easy to use in you know, a, a mic on the hot shoe or something like that. or uh, a clip mic or a wireless mic or whatever you want to use. There are inputs for all those things on the side. Right here you have an HDMI and a mini USB cable right there. And right here you have a audio in and out jack for any kind of mic or anything that you want to use. On the other side, right here, is where the, uh, the, whatchamacallit, the XD card or whatever it's called, memory card, stick, whatever goes in there. I just, for some reason, I have a tip of my tongue. I can't even think of what it's named. So let me put that in the comments. Tell me what that card's called. And uh, so right up here is a little rotating dial that gives you all your different modes. Right here is the on-off switch. Um, up here, you got your display and your ISO button. Right up here on the front, you have your, obviously, the button you press for shooting the pictures. Over here, you got a menu and info button. Down here you have some toggles for up, down, left, right, set. You have your Q and your AV over there. Uh, that's what you want to, if you want to see your pictures. I'm going to turn it on real quick so you guys can just see a little bit what the screen looks like. You get up close. Let's see if I can't focus it. Yeah, there you go. So that's the screen right there. It's really nice. It actually it looks really nice in person. It's a really high definition looking like screen. You scroll, and you scroll that dial on the top and... This is what happens on the screen right there. You press this button, and this will bring you to taking pictures. Obviously, my cap's on, so you're not going to see anything there. You press it again, and then you can shoot through um, the viewfinder right there. Obviously, you have a hot shoe. You have the flash under there. And that's really all you need to know. I mean, the battery's down there. comes with the battery. Let's turn it off first. It does have a self-cleaning sensor, which I believe is a good thing. So that right down here is where the battery is. Right down there, you can flick that, have that come out if you want. And let me just tell you something, these batteries last forever. I've had this for three or four days now. Not once have I charged the battery, and the bar hasn't even gone down a little bit yet. And I've probably taken pictures with it on and off for like four or five hours. So. The battery is very good on this camera, and uh, that's pretty much all I know about it right now. Like I said, I'm a noob, so I'm not going to know every single thing about it, but it is a great camera. It comes with all the accessories that you might need for it, AV cable, sling cable, manuals, batteries. It comes with the strap, obviously, and that's really it. That's really all I know about it. Um, hopefully, once I learn more about it down the road and 
let me tell you, it's going to take me a while before I know everything about this camera, so maybe down the road there'll be a more intense, in-depth view uh, or review of this camera, but as of right now, that's all I know. So, again, thank you everybody for watching my videos, allowing me to become partner, and uh, thanks a lot. Make sure to subscribe, rate, like, favorite, do all the things you need to do, and that's it. I will talk to you guys later.